Hi, Sarah. Thanks for agreeing to talk with us today. Um, could I start by asking you, um, would you share your key learnings uh, from year one of the BSc degree? Sure. Um, I think the thing that always stands out to me the most is probably how much I've learned about myself and then just how, how to relate to others, I think, is the, the main thing. Of course, there's a lot of, um, in the first year, the humanistic and existential theories, um, and then the skills and the personal development, as well as academic writing and the therapy and the journaling. So there's a lot in there. Um, and I think that the main thing that just stands out to me is well, how much I've learned about myself. It's almost like unpacking everything <laughs> in the first year, not everything, but a lot. And it was just extremely beneficial to kind of figure out who I am and what kind of therapist I want to be, what kind of even just friend, family member, uh, this person in the world who I want to be. Um, it was definitely a really wonderful eye-opening experience just to go on that journey and um, mostly through yeah the personal development but um, I think you're also learning a lot about yourself even through the skills module on how to how to become a therapist as well as the theories. Yeah it sounds like you've asked yourself a lot of very important questions already um, <laughs> on the program. Um, what were the biggest challenges for you so far? Challenges, um, I think my public speaking and uh, my kind of confidence and, and nervousness and stuff, which I'm yeah. feeling a little bit now, I think that was the, the biggest challenge I think I found in the skills module. Um, just, just that kind of stage fright or mm -hmm. trying to learn the right things to say, but of course I just need to be more patient and that takes practice. Um, um, I think that would be the main challenge and also maybe just again having the confidence to speak up in class but um, I have seen it progress as the year has gone by so it's again just being patient with the process and yeah. not trying to be perfect at it uh, sure. for some reason. <laughs> and how is the program uh, different to previous courses you've done or learning experiences that you've had? Um, I think there's there's a lot more interaction it's very it's very personal you get you kind of get to know your lectures um they get to know you and it's also you're you're very close with the classmates as well there's a lot of it's very personal there's a lot of bonding there's a lot of sharing um even through uh doing it on teams and not in person it was still just as as powerful um and yeah i think that element of yeah connecting with others. It's not just learning the theories, learning how to do these things and, and getting the degree and then you're off. There's just, there's so many more layers to it and so much more personal skills that, that you can also bring home with you as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, <laughs> and, um, um, and that's, yeah. sorry, <laughs> go on. Um, and why did you choose to continue your journey from the certificate course to the BSc? What made you kind of um, carry on with it? Uh, the certificate course was a great, um, a great kind of taster into it, um, kind of just touching on everything. Um, and then the certificate course, it just seemed like it was expanding on that. And I think I think I just I think I just knew when I was in there that it just felt right that this is what I wanted to do. Um, I knew that I wanted to become a therapist, and I thought even after that few years, I don't want to be a therapist at the end of it because things could change. Um, I know that I would still learn so much through the personal development because right. even that in the certificate course, as I said, was so so powerful that it would have just been even more in depth through the. The BSc, again, not only helping myself, but helping my relationships with others and learning how to be a therapist. There's honestly just so much in it that um, it just, there was nothing that I didn't, uh, that I didn't want to do about it. For me personally, it was just uh, the financial issues at the time, but there wasn't, everything else was just, just exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Um, it sounds as though from what you're saying that uh, it hasn't just been an academic learning experience for you that you it's really helped you in, in various areas of your life other relationships outside of the course but also 
um, very meaningful learning experience with the group as well. Yeah, um, yeah, the group, the group bonding always, uh, I noticed it in the certificate course and then again with new and some familiar faces in the, the BSc, everyone is always so, I think, uh, grateful and almost emotional at the bond that is created and surprised at times. Um, which again can then be taken into your own personal lives, as I said. So yeah, there's there's so many different layers to the course. It's 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 like you're learning through therapy and then through group processes in class. So um, yeah, it's not just the academic skills and how to help others. You're also helping yourselves and those around you. So it's it's a win-win. <laughs> and uh, have you found the pace of the course? Um, I think the pace, the pace is okay for me personally. Um, I like that it's continual assessment and that you have usually a couple of weeks after each module. I find that um, very helpful. Just it gives you enough time to digest it and then you're not kind of pressured to remember everything in an exam situation. Um, and then there's a lot of helpful resources and um, when it comes to academic writing I didn't have a clue I hadn't written an essay since I was about 15 when I first started this so I was a bit worried about that but I've been learning it the whole way along and, and it's been fine and there's so many videos and tutorials and everything and as I said before it doesn't need to be perfect at the beginning you're constantly learning along the way and I think first year is really good for that for um just kind of learning as you go and then I think by the time you go into second year I feel a bit more yeah. like know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. And um, have there been any theorists or, or approaches that you've encountered so far that have particularly appealed to you? Um, I really like a little bit of all of them. I would definitely be probably an integrative therapist at some point but I think existential approach I found really really interesting I would love to delve into that more and have been trying to in my spare time um probably Irvin Yalam would be one of my favorites um I just think he's very honest and I really like that and authentic and I like that approach that he has <laughs> and what was the motivation beside uh, behind pursuing the degree and how did this help you in writing your scholarship application um, for me, I think it was just my own personal journey that um, motivated me or drove me to the course in general, the certificate and the BSc, but um, just not being able to go to college when I finished school or finished secondary school due to my own um, personal and mental health uh, struggles. So. I was just blessed enough to have those resources myself, have good therapists and uh, family and support. So there was just a very strong drive in me to be able to give that back now that I'm in a more secure, healthy place to do that. So that was definitely the, the main thing for me. I just, there was so much uh, kind of gratitude and passion there to kind of kind of pay it forward or so. I don't know, I just, and I just find it so interesting as well. Um, so I thought I could share what I learned personally and then what I learned in the course and hopefully help people <laughs> yeah. eventually. What you're saying there so actually leads me to my next question which is about um, what your future goals or, or, or career objectives might be. It sounds like you're someone who's benefited very much from uh, ther good therapeutic support yourself in the past. Uh, is there anything, any area you'd like to go into in the future? Um, I don't know, I have a lot of different kind of ideas that are kind of changing. I just as I kind of mentioned, I've been very interested in the integrative approach within psychotherapy and then also kind of um, in general health, kind of connecting mind, body and, and spirit and looking at the different elements. But I think specifically with psychotherapy, um, uh, yeah, I would like to be an integrative therapist or maybe help people with specific maybe issues that I've had experience with, but also would like to branch out and learn more about things I don't know as well. Um, so I'm not too sure yet, <laughs> some type of therapist anyway, but um, right. yeah. <laughs> Thanks Sarah. And um, can you share the, the key takeaways that might help other students who are planning to apply for the scholarship? Any pointers for them? 
Um, I think when I think about where I was this time last year applying, um, well, I remember hearing about it first in the certificate course. And initially I thought, oh no, I can't do this. I wouldn't be able to get the scholarship. And maybe it's for people that are better at writing or I don't know, I thought it was almost more of an academic thing. And then when I heard that what it was about, um, there was just there was just a strong feeling within me to pursue it. So when I was applying for it, um, I just tried my best to be to figure out why I wanted it truly and sit with that and trying to figure out what exactly I want from it and then just be authentic about that and be honest and I think just being super honest and real about why you want it and that's exactly what I did I didn't try to make it seem any kind of way I just poured my heart into it and said this is this is what I want to do this is this is what I want if you think I'm good for it then that would be great and so yeah I think for yourself <laughs> That's the best the thing I can buy. Yeah. <laughs> as corny as it sounds, it's true. Not at all. It, it, it sounds as though by being authentic and really being yourself and expressing that, that's that worked for you. That's kind of what therapy is all about in many ways. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and um, any piece of advice you have for students going into year one? Perhaps they might have come from the cert, they might be kept coming from a, a different background. But um, any, any uh, tips for them? Um, I think maybe be open-minded and excited. Um, open-minded to the different ideas. Uh, I know sometimes I can cling on to a kind of favorite uh, way of doing things and might close my mind off to other approaches. Maybe if I had an experience, I don't know, with a certain type of therapy before. So be open-minded and I think um, I kind of mentioned before to just be patient I think with first year and learn as you as you go along um, I know at the beginning me and my classmates were kind of like oh god what are, what are we what were we supposed to read or like, like expecting to kind of know everything straight away but I mean I think just go into it a bit more relaxed maybe and just in, um, be open-minded and enjoy the process uh, and try not to worry too much about knowing everything straight away that by the end of the first year you'll feel a lot more comfortable <laughs> that sounds like good advice sarah thanks thanks very much for talking with us today. <laughs> okay no problem thanks for having Thank me i really appreciate being here <laughs>